All right, so now this video is going to be the first of hopefully a series people are interested in. And what I'm going to do is just do a simple circuit without explaining more than I really have to to understand the circuit. So to begin with, we're going to use a breadboard power supply here. We got 5 volts. So all we want to do in this video for this circuit is light this LED. So it's uh, pretty straightforward. You need a power source, of course, and you need to protect the LED because the LED blocks a little voltage, but otherwise lets any amount of current through that uh, the power supply will deliver. So I'm going to take this jumper here and uh, connect it to the positive rail because we have to go from positive to negative. We can either go from positive and the back to negative there, or positive and negative over there. It's going to be a little easier to see if we just work our way across from left to right. We could also use a jumper if we wanted to, but uh, as you can see, that really takes up a lot of uh, view of the board and stuff. So if this is what you got, you know, use them. That's no big deal, but for filming, it doesn't show up so good. So now, I have three resistors here. We need to protect the LED from current. Usually, the resistor is on the uh, positive side of the power supply. It doesn't matter conductively, but uh, that's generally what you see. So we have a 220 ohm resistor. This is the minimum. I recommend about 220 ohms for a five volt power supply. If you're using a nine volt, approximately power supply I recommend a 470 ohm and we're gonna take a 10 kilo ohm and look at how the LED is a lot less bright with uh, the 10 kilo ohm but in any case we're gonna put the resistor here so on the breadboard there's a, a gap here but uh, if you go straight across these five dots are connected when you go straight across just like all of these dots are connected when you go straight down and uh, so now we got the LED. The LED is a diode. That's what the D stands for, diode. So what that means is it conducts pretty easily in one direction and doesn't conduct very easily in the other direction. Normally it blocks current when it's uh, reversed biased. That's uh, when it's in the direction it doesn't conduct. When it's forward biased, which I just set it in now, that means it conducts easily. So we want the long lead, the anode, towards the positive side, the left lead, the cathode, towards the negative side. Right there. And, uh, okay, I didn't want to slide in very good. There we go. Sometimes you gotta jiggle it. And now we complete the circuit. We take this, we put it to the short lead, the cathode, which also has a flat edge if you happen to have trimmed the leads and looks like we're off of space yeah I can't connect where it is now so what I'm gonna do is shift the uh, LED down and then move this resistor back to the long lead of the LED and uh, now we turn on the power supply there you can see the LED is really bright that's because I'm using 220 ohm resistor. We're probably getting about 15 milliamps of current through the LED. LEDs should be limited to about 20 milliamps or or less. 20 milliamps is about as much current you want to flow through it to give it a long life. If you use even less current, it'll last even longer. But when you want it really bright, 20 milliamps is about where you want to go. As you can see, it's pretty bright. Let's see what, uh, now the lamp's at the brightest setting, so it doesn't look quite as bright because the camera adjusted for the light, but uh, there you go, there you go, you can see it's pretty bright. So, 470's, not going to make uh, much difference, it's going to cut the current though in about half, and, uh, oops, I missed that spot, if your circuits don't work, a lot of times, because you accidentally stuck the uh, component in the wrong spot and you can see that the LED is quite a bit uh, more dim but still pretty bright and uh, you should 
when you change the circuit turn the power off but uh, we're okay here and uh, so now I'm going to take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and now you can see it's really dim so this is with the uh, light at the brightest setting but if you're going to happen to work for whatever reason in a real dark setting maybe that's what you will want as you can see there you can see that it's uh, glowing it's not terribly dark in here right now this is about a 60 watt light bulb worth of light above us and uh, so you can see the LED is definitely on so maybe in a low light setting you'd want your LEDs protected by a 10 kilo ohm resistor with a 5 volt power supply as the voltage goes up the current will go up but in uh, any case uh, this is the, the first hopefully in a series of videos people will be interested in and uh, I will just go over a circuit like this just try to go over the uh, basics of the circuit and uh, try to keep it as simple as possible but uh, pretty thoroughly if possible